हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट किंगडम दैट इज द किंगडम फिंजाई यस किंगडम बिकॉज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द किंगडम प्रोटिस्टा एंड देयर क्लासेस और ग्रुप्स आल्सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट किंगडम यस फंग स्टडी ऑफ फंगस इज नोन एज द माइकोलॉजी बिकॉज इन हाई क्लासेस यू विल स्टडी द टू ब्रांचेस माइकोलॉजी एंड द फाइकोलॉजी Mycology where you will study about the structures habitats of the fungus and phycology where you will study about the structure habitats of the algae so today we are going to discuss about the fungus yes what are the main characteristics of the fungus first it is cosmopolitan in nature that means it can found to be anywhere where it will get the favorable conditions so it can found in the aquatic conditions also yes there are water availability is there so example is saprolagnia second is coprophyllus yes coprophyllus the fungus that is found on the dung and this question comes in neat also name the fungus that is found on dung so special that is known as the coprophyllus so after discussing about the habitat what type of nutrition is followed by the fungus yes main it is heterotrophic nutrition that means it cannot make its food by themselves because fungus do not have the chloroplast so it will take its food from the others so mainly it will specify it it act as a decomposers decomposers means it, it can break down the complex substances into the simple substances for obtaining its nutrition so it also follow the parasitic nutrition mode of nutrition and the saprotrophs nutrition also where it will take its food from dead and decaying matter by because it will release a number of enzymes by with the help of which it can decompose the uh, complex organic substance into the simple organic substance for taking its nutrition next is it will show the symbiotic association yes what do you mean by symbiotic association symbiotic association is a phenomena where two organisms where two different or type of organisms that means organisms of two different species will live together in a association or in a mutual way where they can benefit each other that means if the two organ type of organisms are there and they will mutually provide the benefit to each other that is known as the symbiotic association yes fungus is also showing this type of association in the form of lichen and the mycorrhiza what is lichen yes lichen is the symbiotic association of the algae and fungi and you can say in the ecological succession this is the lichen only that will play a major role because lichen will degrade the surface of the rocks and break down to form the soil and that soil will be act as a habitat for the bryophytes and the pedophytes so this is known as the lichen between the association of algae and fungi second is the mycorrhiza as the name indicate myco myco means fungus and rhiza means roots of higher plants yes it is a symbiotic association between the fungus and the roots of higher plants where fungus will provide the essential minerals to the plants and plants will provide the space for living of the fungus so this is known as the symbiotic association after that we can say the cell wall of the fungus is made of chitin and the cellulose and fungus will store the food in the form of glycogen or the oil droplets if we will discuss about the structure i have drawn here the simple structure yes firstly when spores will get the fuel conditions and spores by dispersed by air or by the water and they get the fuel condition they starts to take the nutrition and develop the thin we can say thin thread like structures that are known as the hypha and these hypha may be septate or aseptate means if the hypha have the septa in between yes these are the septa and this these dotted show the nucleus so this is known as a septate but if these septa are absent then it is known as the aseptate so aseptate condition is also known as the synoceptic condition synoceptic conditions means multi nucleate conditions where of septa are absent so this is these thread like structures that is known as the hypha they join together they will make the mycelium and when a number of mycelium will join together they will form the sporangiophore this yes this stalk like structure that is known as the sporangiophore and this sporangium will develop the fruiting body that is known as the sporangium sporangium is developed on the sporangiophore 
and it will release a number of spores and these spores will disperse with the help of air and water currents. So this is the general structure of the fungus that can be shown by any of the fungus. So after discussing about the structure, yes, this is the structure. Now we will discuss about the what type of reproduction is followed by the fungus. Yes, vegetative, asexual and sexual. These three types of reproduction is shown by the fungus. First, vegetative reproduction is shown by these methods like the fragmentation, fusion, and the budding. Whereas the asexual reproduction will take place with the help of formation of spores. And these spores may be conidia. I have drawn the diagram here like this. These conidial spores are arise on the conidiophores. Yes, conidiophores are the structure where the conidia or the spores will arise on them. And second, we can say the zoo spores that are, I have drawn the diagram, zoo, th which are released or formed inside the zoo spores in gym. Yes, this is, the, this is the structure of the single zoo spore. And if you will say about the sexual reproduction, yes, sexual reproduction is shown in the form of three steps. First is plasmogamy, karyogamy, and meiosis. What do you mean by plasmogamy? Plasmogamy means the fusion of the protoplasm. Yes. Because sexual reproduction is there, so when two hyphae will join together, what would happen? The protoplasm of the both the hyphae will join in such a way that these nucleuses come in the contact. But these still not fuse. Yes, these dot like structures will show the nucleus, but still they have not fuse. So, fusion of the protoplasm known as the plasmogamy. After that, these nuclei will fuse together. Yes. These nuclei will fuse together. That is known as the karyogamy fusion of the nucleus. After that, third is the meiosis. Meiosis, yes. After the karyogamy, reductional division. Yes, reductional division. Yes, where chromosome number becomes half. That means it is the immediate step that is formed after the dikaryophase. Dikaryophase, when nucleus will divide, they, they, you can say two nuclei will fuse together. That are known as the dikaryon and this phase is known as the dikaryophase after the dikaryophase meiosis will take place the reduction division will be takes place and after the reduction division they will form the haploid spores that will disperse by air and water currents okay so <coughs> we have discussed about the asexual and the sexual reproduction vegetative reproduction that will can take place by the fragmentation fusion and budding you can say fragmentation where the uh, organi part of an organism will break down into the fragments and that fragments will act as the individual organisms and in the fusion that can take place with the help of the binary fusion or the multiple fusion and in the budding where an outgrowth like structure will appear in the body or outside the body of an organism is known as the budding. So what are the classes of the fungus? Yes, we will study the four classes Ascomyces, Phycomyces, Basidiomyces and Deuteromyces. These classes are divided on the basis of their habitat where these are found, what type of reproduction will take place in these and what type of spores will form and how these spores will form. So firstly we are going to discuss about the Phycomyces. Yes, Phycomyces include all those fungus that are act found in the aquatic conditions. That means water availability should be there. And these can grow on the decaying woods also. And these are mainly have the hypha which is aseptic, that means xenocytic condition. And if you will see the reproduction, reproduction will occur both the types sexual, which will follow the plasmogamy, karyogamy, and meiosis. And asexual reproduction will take place by the formation of juice spores and the alpano spores. You can see, consider here the diagram examples also here mucus, rhizopus, and albugo fungus but it will depend also ki how the spores will produce yes uh, spores are produced inside the spore engine or produced outside the spore engine it will also depend and on the basis of which is also classes has been divided now after discussing about the phycomyces we are going to discuss the next group of the fungus which are ascomyces basidiomyces and deuteromyces we already discussed about the phycomyces so, Ascomyces is also known as the sac fungi because the fruiting body that is formed in the asco fungi is sac like structure. That is why they are known as the sac fungi. What is their main characteristics? 
Yes, these are saprotrophic in nature. That means they can take their food from dead and decaying matter. These act as a decomposers also. That it means they can decompose the complex organic substances into simple organic substances and convert into the manures also. Manures. These act as a parasites also. It means they can take their nutrition from living hosts. So they act as a saprotrophic, saprotrophs, decomposers as well as parasites. Okay. I have told you that uh, first the thread like structures that is formed in the fungus is known as the hypha. Then these hypha will join together, they will form the mycelium. But it will depend the mycelium is branch or node. So mycelium in the ascomycetes is branch and it does not have the septa. That is why I mentioned here aseptate. That means these, these have the synocytic conditions or the multinucleate condition without the septa. So, what type of reproduction will take place in the ascomycetes? Yes, asexual reproduction as well as sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction will take place with the help of spore formation. Yes, these spores example, conidia. Conidia are the ascospores. We can say ascospores. Yes, in the asexual reproduction of the ascomycetes. So, I have taken an example of aspergillus fungus in which Exo, uh, spores are produced exogenously. Yes, in the fungus you must keep in mind that spores can be produced exogenously and the endogenously. When the spores are produced from the outer surface of the fruiting body, that is known as the exogenously. But when the spores are for starts to produce from the inside of the fruiting body, that is known as the endogenously. So here spores are producing from the external surface that means here spores are producing exogenously. Examples are the conidium. Second is the sexual reproduction. Yes, sexual reproduction will take place with the help of ascospores. But keep in mind in ascomycetes, ascospores are produced only in the form of eight. That means in the clusters and that group contain the eight ascospores. This, these ascospores, where it will produce? So, fruiting body will be there. Yes, this is known as the ascus. That is known as the fruiting body. Yes, these ascospores, ascospores produced inside the ascus. This ascus is produced on the ascocarp. Yes, stalk like structure spores. This is there. So, this is the ascocarp. And this structure is known as the ascus. And these are their ascospores. So, Ascocarp, ascus, and ascospores. This ascocarp, on the basis of their shapes or structures, is divided into three types. Yes, apothecium, which is cup shape, perithecium, which is flask shape, and clastothecium, which is spherical in shape. So, depending upon the structure of ascocarp. So, example, where the ascocarp is of apothecium, morcilla, and ascobolus. Where ascocarp is of flask shape, clavips. Where ascocarp is spherical in shape, ericipa. So, in the ascomycetes, main fruiting body is ascus, which will produce a number of spores that are known as the ascospores, which are mainly 18 numbers. These spores can produce endogenously also and exogenously also. <coughs> okay, after ascomycetes, now third is the Basidiomyces. So, Basidiomyces, these are known as club fungi. You can see here, Ascomyces is called as the sac fungi. Basidiomyces is known as the club sac fungi. And example is Agaricus and Puxinia. This Puxinia, you know, uh, it, it, it will cause the disease in the weeds. Yes, blackness of weed. So, Basidiomyces include all those fungus which are parasitic in nature and act as the best decomposer. Why they are known as? What fungi will act as the decomposer? But why I have mentioned these are the best decomposers? Because till now, uh, plants uh, and some complex plants, uh, uh, cell wall is made up of lignin and cellulose. Cellulose can be easily digested by the cellulase enzyme. But uh, till some time period before, it was not known that lignin can be also degraded. Yes. Lignin is the most complex substance that is not degraded by any of the any of the enzymes. But some enzyme is discovered from 
Pasidiomyces that can degrade the lignin. So lignin can be degraded by those enzymes which is belong from the Pasidiomyces. So that is why they are known as the D best decomposers. If we will discuss about the mycelium is branch and these have the septa and if these have the septa between the cells that means they will exchange the material also and for the exchanging of the material they have the special pore like structures known as the dolly pores. So ascomyces were aseptate, basidiomyces are septate that have the septa and in the septa they have pore like structure dolly pore. Okay. Ab na, now we will discuss how the reproduction will take place in the basidiomyces. Yes, there are three types of reproduction, vegetative, asexual and sexual. Mainly asexual reproduction is absent, I have mentioned. And vegetative reproduction will take place with the help of fragmentation process. So a, we can say asexual is absent and vegetative takes place by the fragmentation. Then what type of reproduction is followed by the fungus that belongs to basidiomyces? Yes, sexual, sexual organs are absent but mainly sexual reproduction will be followed. Yes, sexual reproduction will be helped with the help of plasmogamy. Plasmogamy, I have told you, where the protoplasm of the two cells fuse together. After the fusion of the protoplasm, the process of fusion of the protoplasm is known as the plasmogamy. After that, karyogamy will be takes place where nucleus fusion will be there. So plasmogamy, after the pl plasmogamy, there will be a dikaryophase, that means two and structure and this dikaryophage phase will give rise to secondary mycelium and this secondary mycelium will make the fruiting body that is the basidium yes in the ascomyces the fruiting body is the ascus but what is the fruiting body in the basidiomyces yes basin the basidiomyces it is basidium i have drawn the diagram here of the basidium that will give rise to a spores number of spores but must keep in mind these can make the four basidiospores so, you keep in mind, dikaryophase will make the secondary mycelium and this secondary mycelium make the fruiting body, basidium and in the, inside the basidium, yes, inside the basidium, karyogamy and meiosis will take place, that means nucleus fusion will be there and after the fusion of the nucleus, reductional division will be takes place, that will leads to formation of the basidiospores and that was basidiospores we can say will transfer by the air or by the water plant and where they will get the favorite conditions they give rise to growth again so these are the basidiospores which will produce on the basidium i can label here this is the basidium and this is the basidiocarp basidiocarp is made of secondary and the tertiary mycelium so this is the mainly by basidiomyces where four spores will be produced in the groups or we can say in ascomyces where eight spores will produce that is known as the ascospores after that fourth type is deteromyces yes deteromyces is known as the imperfect fungi why they are known as the imperfect fungi because when a fungus number of fungus will divide into different groups at that time only those fungus will be kept in this club in this group which do not have the sexual reproduction that means during the division of the fungus uh, researchers keep in mind that we can separate those fungus which do not have sexual reproduction so they kept that uh, fungus in the deteromyces and give the name imperfect fungi but after some time it was observed that the uh, repro sexual reproduction some stages of the sexual reproduction is also takes place so the fungus which were having the sexual stages will either transfer to the ascomyces or the basidiomyces so it is not clear that it is not clear that these do not have the sexual reproduction stages in the starting it was observed that these do not have the sexual reproduction but after that some stages are also find, found so the fungus which were having the sexual reproduction are transferred to the ascomyces or the basidiomyces depending upon their septate mycelium and reproduction so what type of reproduction will be takes place only asexual reproduction is the mode of reproduction in the deteromyces and with the help of asexual reproduction they are making the spores oidia conidia or chlamydo spores example we can consider here the trichoderma alternate alternaria and 
these also cause a number of diseases in the human beings like the ringworms yes which will cause the irritation of the skin also so we have to i have told you that fungus uh, are the decomposers saprotropic in nature it will cause a number of diseases in the plants and in the animals also and these are further divided into different classes like phycomycetes escomycetes deciduomycetes deteromycetes on the basis of their mycelium on the basis of their hypha on the basis of their reproduction and the septa thank you beta